Hey there, future Nobel laureates! Welcome back to our channel. Today's episode is going to be extra special because we're talking about something that's not just for grown-ups, but for kids who are changing the world too. The Nobel Prize. Chapter 1. The prize stems from regret and torment. Alfred Bernhard Nobel was a chemist, engineer, and prolific Swedish inventor. Throughout his life, he made 350 outstanding inventions for humanity. However, his most notable contributions include the discovery of the chemical element named after him, Nobelium, and the invention of dynamite. For these remarkable contributions, he amassed a colossal fortune from the production of explosives for both warfare and industrial purposes. But towards the end of his life, Nobel witnessed the destructive potential inherent in his inventions, weighing heavily on his conscience. He felt regret and a sense of guilt that his passion and creativity had caused harm to innocent lives, fearing that he would be remembered as an indirect murderer rather than an inventive genius. Nobel decided to turn his remorse into a positive force. By revising his will, he resolved to allocate 94% of his wealth to establish awards for individuals and organizations that made outstanding contributions to humanity. This decision astounded the world in the late 19th century, as giving away one's wealth was considered an improbable act. Let's applaud the ingenuity and profound decision of this man. In 1901, the awards were first organized and presented. According to Alfred Nobel's will, prizes were to be awarded in five categories, physics, chemistry, biology or medicine, literature, and peace. In 1968, the Sveriges Riksbank Swedish National Bank established the sixth prize in economic sciences in memory of Alfred Nobel. As of now, 621 awards have been organized, honoring 965 individuals and 27 organizations for their exceptional contributions. Chapter 2, Outstanding Individuals and the Rejection of Prestigious Award. The Nobel Prize is held annually in Sweden, where the Nobel Committee selects the most outstanding individuals for each year. The Nobel laureates receive a certificate, a gold medal, and a cash prize. However, there are some interesting facts surrounding this prestigious award. Let's add a bit of joy to our facts. Did you know that the Nobel Prize medal is made of pure gold? Talk about bling! And here's an astonishing fact. The youngest Nobel laureate ever is Malala Yousafzai, a Pakistani activist for girls' education. She won the Peace Prize at the age of 17. Unbelievable, right? Leonid Hervich is the oldest person to receive the prize at the age of 90. Linus Pauling, John Bardeen, Frederick Sanger, K. Barry Sharpless, the International Committee of the Red Cross, and the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees are organizations that have received the Nobel Prize more than once for their outstanding contributions. But let's talk about a woman, Marie Curie. She was the first woman to win a Nobel Prize, the first woman to win it twice, and the only person to win Nobel Prizes in two scientific fields to this day. But wait, there's a twist. Sometimes, even when you're offered something super cool, you might decide it's not for you. Imagine being awarded a Nobel Prize and saying, No, not for me. It has happened, and it's quite intriguing. Let's start with the story of Jean-Paul Sartre, a famous philosopher, when awarded the Nobel Prize for Literature. In 1964, he said, I am not bound by any organization which would limit my ability to write. The second case is truly unfortunate. In 1973, Leduc Tho and Henry Kissinger were awarded the Nobel Peace Prize for their efforts to negotiate a ceasefire during the Vietnam War. But because the country's peace has not been restored, Mr. Le refused to accept the prize, and the amount was very large at the time. So, future Nobel laureates, Keep dreaming, keep exploring, and most importantly, keep making a difference. Who knows, the Nobel Prize for Kids might have your name on it one day. Until next time, keep being awesome. If you like our video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Goodbye.